Hello folks and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. We're out in the west, out in the wilds, just random quests that we're taking on and going to ruins that we couldn't go into before. Have you been in the cup? They've assigned a random quest to us right now. I don't think we really care what they've assigned. Oh yeah, all the way over there. I mean, maybe at some point we'll go back there. I'm hoping for a cauldron. Spine break. I kind of feel like there's got to be something here, but there's no icon indicating that this is actually something we can break through. So I don't think it's actually a thing. There might be something down here. I have no idea. Already done that. I'm hoping... This is a cauldron, but I don't actually know. There's definitely a Tide Ripper here. Um, we could go down that way, I guess. There is a Metal Flower right there. Okay, for the quest, though, let me go ahead and deactivate this quest. So I don't need this. That'd be... It's not jobs. I'm in the melee pit here. Here we go. Deactivate quest. There we go. We've also leveled up a few times. Let's get our survivor skills up maybe a little bit. Gain valor when hit by enemies. I mean, I prefer not to get hit by enemies, but I suppose, you know, if I'm going to get hit, might as well get a benefit from it. I'll have a burst of bombs in front of you while dodging backwards. Okay. Shredder Mine. Ricochet's off its point of contact for hovering in place, dealing shock damage targets from the point. Okay, interesting. Deals extra damage to a target. Shredder does not return after impact. Well, yeah, because it explodes. And Sticky Bomb. Uh, more resources from plants is probably what we actually want. So, you guys, get the Valor in impact. And then more resources from plants. We don't have anything that's only one, so we'll go ahead and just let that build up. And then let's go get the metal flower for sure. Or open up whatever the metal flower has for us. Probably just, you know, blocking off a resource or two. But I do remember going over here and being very puzzled over what was over here. So there's probably not much. Unfortunately, we're a little bit short on resources because of our Thunderjaw. I mean, we took down the Thunderjaw, which is great. But it did pretty much eat up all of our resources. So anything we can grab here would be good. Oh, hello there. Um, yeah, go to me a little. I'll take these guys down with Plasma. What the hell? Plasma's building to something. No! Oh, okay. He doesn't like it. Oh, no, he's burrowing away. Okay, but you missed. And now you're dead. Oh, there's an apex. Yeah, definitely get on the medicine as much as possible. I think there might just be chargers here, though. You, nope, you're a scrapper. Okay, I'll definitely tag you. You're also a scrapper, and you are another burrower. Anybody else? There's a trap we can drop down on their head. It's maybe not a bad idea. Mm, should probably go ahead and see if I can make some potions here. Yeah, okay, give me at least one potion. Um, We have to use the rest of our berries to do the rest of them, so let's just hold off. So how many set this trap? He has to walk right underneath it, but I don't know if that's going to be a thing. I hide in the wrong space. Yeah, I think this burrower knows where I am. He at least heavily suspects. Okay, hide back in the red grass. He's going to come over here, trouble. but maybe that's okay. Because then we can just stab him. Now, tell me to just shoot him here, but I really don't want to get in a fight with the other three guys. At least not directly. Okay, 
Good, so you're down. Brought your friend over, maybe? Yeah, okay, that brings somebody over. Do you instantly scrap him, maybe? Oh, brother, brought all three of them over. What do you guys weak to? Shock. Uh, well, see, this is where that shock shredder gauntlet thing would have been really good. Okay, well, we don't actually have any of that, so what do we do? I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. I have no idea. Let's see what our inventory has. If we had, like, a, I don't know, a shock bomb or something, that'd be really cool. But that's not really a thing. I mean, the trip caster is nice and all. Uh, acid warrior bow, maybe. Maybe. Canister rope caster? Okay, yeah, that actually attaches arrows the same element, right? So it attaches that. Should make them... Uh, let's attach it there. So we want to attach the shock capsule. Gotcha. Okay, and you're both surprised. We'll just right you. Ah. Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> There, got him. He goes down. Crit strike. Almost out. There, he's out. Oh, I thought I dodged it. I did not. Doing so well. Okay, so now you're shocked. And then crit strike. That was fantastic. Yeah, leap and joy there. Okay, that was great. More of that, please. It's our first time using the elemental rope caster. That was great. More of that every day. Okay, where's this metal flower? Let's take to the other side of the wall here. Definitely pick up more medicine because I need all that medicine. Yeah, there's a lot of medicine around, and I should pick up every single scrap of it. Yeah, the environmental trap would have been nice, but they were kind of all just gathered around me, and it just didn't seem like there was a good opening for that. Oh, hey. Didn't see that last time. Mm, I can refill my patch with these later. Okay. I don't know who's lighting these fires, but somebody's got to be, right? It's somebody's job to go through here and light these fires. I uh, will definitely go ahead and pull this down. I could have sworn we'd done this already. Don't we have that? Isn't that how we know where the metal flowers are? That works. Yeah, but the... So the thing is, the game does not keep track of what you've done up to a certain point. Like, after a certain point, it just goes, you know, whatever. It's reset to its original status. It's not keeping track. And in a big open world, that kind of makes sense, right? If this was like... I mean, it's kind of a Metroidvania, but if it was like a more traditional Metroidvania... You would definitely want to keep track of everything. But even in Metroid, like, we were just paid much I remember this. Um, it didn't keep track of, you know, what bad guys we Shut this metal flower respawn. down. All right, so we got in here. Uh, nothing? That seems weird. What? What? Okay, I mean, there's stuff here. That's a very tiny supply cache that it was guarding. That couldn't have been it. Right? There's a way up here. Maybe there's something over here. Okay, mm launch yourself backwards. I'm oh, sorry, backwards. This circle. There we go. Okay, now we're up top. Which is a way out, but nothing else. Um... Maybe I can get up over there. Is that a grapple point? It is not. Oh, but I can just jump down here. Yeah, we've been here, though. Right? We've done this. Wasn't there like a... I forget. There was something we needed to do here. And that's right. There was like a cache we needed to find. That we did find, by the way. 
So, okay, so that was all. It's a tiny little bit of extra supplies. A little disappointing. Yeah, I can go back down with that way that I came in, but I don't know. It's a little disappointing. Seems like like this door should open or something. Oh, there we go. Pray out. Pray so little more. So I think we already grabbed the thing that was in here. It's like we knocked these down, but they're very unlikely to have anything real in them. Yeah, no such luck. Well, that's a little disappointing. Guess it's why you want to go ahead and get the the unlockable tools first, so that you don't have to worry about missing anything later or going back to it later, because it's not necessarily going to be worth it. Makes this easy. Okay. Well, at least that's off the list. There's another one over here, which should be very simple to get to. Simpler than I think that path shows, right? We should be able to go as the crow flies. Once we climb that cliff... So, of course, we can climb it. Yeah, okay, that looks climbable. Yeah, once we climb the cliff, it should just be a straight shot. But again, it might be just be very minor supplies. We'll see how that goes. So, of course, these bushes allow us to... Okay, no, no, we made it. Sometimes the bush is there to show that this is an out-of-bounds area. Not fortunately true this time, but yeah, we don't want to necessarily go past those machines right now. Nice, easy walk over here. I don't remember this one. Um, bush is blocking up the way here, but I can go around this way. But now, can I go through? Okay, yeah. Um, I thought I could. Am I blocked by something? I'm totally being blocked by something. Okay, we'll go around the other way. Go ahead and pick up the medicine here, and then see if I can get a bead on that metal flower. In fact, there's a lot of red grass around here. It would seem to indicate there would be a machine, but no. Oh, there's a data point there, though. Did I miss that last time? Recon predicts contact with the Witcher's assailant in 27 hours. Seven Horus units detected in the first wave. News from the west is just as bad. Last stragglers from Kalmar are in. Loss is estimated at 93%. There has been no further contact from the Vrainhold Remnant. RC1 assumes it's been wiped out. So, that's it. We're on the last day is the last day. I swear to God, sir. I'm no coward, but I'd pack my bags and head for the hills or anywhere left to go. That's totally fair. I mean, there isn't any more left to go, because, you know, it's the end of humanity, but still, totally fair. I get it. I can get past those vines now. Oh, yeah, sure enough, just a tiny little valuables chest. Not even a good weave. Didn't we sell all our green weaves before? That kind of sounds familiar. All right, what else we got? Uh, we've done your contracts. It's an unknown there, so I mean, I could go that way, but I think I want to go down here. I want to go to this campfire and go see what this is, because I think that's a cauldron. And if that cauldron lets us get, I don't know, glint hawks or something, we'll be in good shape. There's a campfire right there, uh, which apparently, there we go. It's on the map. It's on the pad, rather. Hey there, chargers. Don't mind me just coming through. Just walking on by. Don't really want to murder you all, but I will if I have to. I don't have to, right? You're just gonna let me walk on by? Damn right you are. I'm gonna use more charger horns, but also, like, I really don't need them. I suppose I could just sell them. But I really don't need the money either. Okay. Um, okay, because they're still noticing me. As soon as they stop noticing me, I can fast travel. There we go. Okay. Maybe? Hmm. Uh, nobody should be noticing me anymore. There's no markers anywhere. Just gather some stuff and see if that helps us reset a little bit. Yeah, okay, there we go. We got it. 
Okay, so I will fast travel down here. Let's mark this. There. Marked. And fast travel here. Now their trick is, can we get past the Tide Rippers and fight them on the land? That's going to be the real trick. Also, do I have enough medicine? Uh, well, it's full, and we have another one. If I just... Yeah, I think we'll be okay. I think it'll be alright. Hoping there's going to be a fire over there that I can fast travel to, but who knows? So, how are we going to do this? Obviously, the straight path isn't really going to work, right? So, maybe we go, like, straight south and just follow the rocks. And if we can get on land, all the better. Okay, so straight south. Let's go this way. There is some red grass along the way there, so that's a good sign. Indicates at least, like, we can walk along there. Whether or not we can fight along there is another story entirely, but we'll see what we can do. We gotta break this fog of war so we know it's around. I don't see anything that resembles a shelter, but you don't always see them from a distance. Could be like tucked away somewhere. Be nice to have a fast travel point to the southern part here, but I can understand also why they maybe wouldn't want to do that. There's a lot of red grass up there. Should I be looking for more machines? I don't see anything now. No blue lights. I don't have any charger indications, as far as I can tell. Why is there so much red grass? Usually it's a sign that there's going to be Oof, machines for well, keep me awake. I'll grab all the medicine we can. I can climb up there, but I don't necessarily need to. Yeah, I mean, we could look over that way, but that's not the way I want to go. I want to see what this is. So, off to the left it is. We could spot the Tide Ripper and lure it out on the land to fight us. All the better. As long as it's not an Apex, we should be fine. But remember, they're weak to frost, and we have the ability to deal a lot of frost damage on these guys. So many, of course, they are standard Tide Rippers, and nothing. I mean, I suppose there could be like elemental variants. A fire Tide Ripper would be quite the change up. I don't think that's a thing, but. Or a frost Tide Ripper, so there's immune to frost. Okay, there is a burrower over there. And there's the Tide Ripper. Okay, so he is on land. That's interesting. I just see the one burrower as kind of an escort. And it's an Apex, so of course it is. You are apparently too far away. I can't get a beat on you if you want to come a little bit closer, please. Better use something other than fire. Okay. It's just a regular Tide Ripper. That's totally doable. <laughs> the Apex Burrower is a little annoying, but not too bad. There's another guy over there off the distance. I can't tell what that is. It might be another Burrower. Okay, red grass for sure. Uh, do we have any Frost Traps? Frost Traps would probably work out here. Like, if he's actually on a patrol. Let's see what we got. Um, that's fire and electric, which is not going to work, obviously. I suppose we could use the rope to cast frost at him. That would work. But sadly, okay, I've got the ice fire blastling, which I suppose I should be using. Let's equip that, say... Yeah, we probably don't want the trip caster here. So, sure, I'll replace it with that. That's probably all we can do, though. Yeah, the Shredder's not going to help us here. Okay, so like, how's our inventory? Okay, not terrible. 8 out of 8 there. Um, We got 80 out of 90 there. That's fine. 3 out of 3 there. Okay, so we can use this rope caster pretty effectively. Go ahead and get some build-up on the chair precision. Because you never know. The real trick is, who do we take out first? I mean, probably the burrowers, because they're going to be a little annoying. I could probably go ahead and ping one here. 
Gotta remember they had arcs. Okay, good, he got stunned. Hit him in the eyeball. And he's dead. Pad Ripper didn't even seem to notice. A few more shots than I really wanted to use there, but it worked out. Yeah, he's going to notice the dead burrower now and go, Bob, no! Bob! I'm clearly in my arms, but I don't actually have any. Okay, the other burrower, though, doesn't seem to notice or care. Tide Ripper's looking around like, I will revenge! And I can't find you, but I will totally revenge! And... Done. Okay. The trick is, we need to know your path. What is your path, my dude? Okay. I mean, mostly in shallow water, which is good. Now, the trick is, once I start fighting the Tide Ripper, is the other burrower the gonna... at home underwater. But I wonder how nimble it is on land. We know already, but sure. Okay, let's try to loop with him here. He's gonna stop occasionally, but I think we want to get to that other burrower. That means basically following this tide roper all the way around his path. Oh, there's another burrower over there. Okay, we wait till the tide roper goes far enough away, and then we take out this guy. Actually, that guy is pretty far from the Tide Ripper. He might not have been noticed if we take this guy out. Take that. Come over here. Okay, you've got a dead Ravager over there for some reason. I don't know why, but okay. All right, you're going to stand up here. Then stand up. Yeah. Pretty obvious you were going to do that. Just can't seem to break that freaking sound shell. Or hit you in the eyeball, apparently. There we go. That did it. Okay, again. Tide Ripper does not seem to notice or care. Let's see what happens when he looks in this direction. Charles! No! Okay. We could probably fight here, and I'm betting the burrow over there won't even notice. Because he's pretty far. Now, the Tide Ripper is going to bounce a lot when he moves around here, so it's a risk. I think it's a risk I'm willing to take. Like, this guy knows we're here anyway. Like, he knows we're about. He doesn't actually know we're here here, but, you know. Take that one nowhere. Okay, we got to get a lot closer, apparently. Hello. Got to build up that... Okay, there we go. Built up. Great. I'll take a ton more damage because of this. Just need to actually break off a piece, and I don't actually know what I need to break off. Remember the heart. Heart does the most damage. Okay, he's gonna. Oh, we should probably get rid of the spinning water of death, too. Yeah, that's a thing. That's a thing. Okay, Frost is about off again. The reload. Not a bad time. Bad time on the reload, but we still got it though. Okay, he's frosted up. Okay, we chipped away at his heart protection at least a little bit. Now he's going to launch the water attacks. That's going to be real annoying. Probably want to go ahead and see if we can break those away while he's still frosted. Damn it, I can't seem to get away from this guy. I can't see. Nope, can't see. Can't, still can't see. I don't know where, where I am. I keep getting knocked away and I can't go anywhere. Oh my god, what the hell? Drink? I can't drink either. I can't. I can't see where I am. Okay, there we go. Finally see again. Thank goodness I drank that. I was in real bad trouble. Okay. 
probably need to create a few more of these. Probably also need to reload, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, I dodged it. Good. Okay, I don't know if I actually managed to reload her in time. Run, run. Oh yeah, we're good. Now, if hit his heart, we're gonna be in really good shape. He's frosted again. You know, I forgot to look if we need any parts from this guy. Okay, that burst pretty widely. If I can do that again on the other side, before he gets me here. Crap a little bit more, maybe a tear away. That was pretty good. Wow, the wood go, the wood turn away from here. Okay, we knocked this part away. Maybe something finally gives. When he dies. We're knocking it away, but it's taking time. Almost done being frosted. Okay, we gotta frost him again. That'll probably kill him, but I'm okay with it. Okay, that nearly missed, nearly hit me there. I really need to run. I need to run. Okay, see that? That was not running. On Aloy, run. Oh, the trouble is I was trying to run to the wrong place. Okay, we got this. Okay, somehow lived and got on top of him there for a little while. That's it, he's out. Okay. Not as terrible as our first time against Tide Ripper. Not fantastic, but not terrible. Probably should have used more rope casters. I probably would have frozen him in place a little bit more and made it more of a distance fight. Yeah, I'm gonna my stash that later. later. That's okay though. I don't think we knocked anything away from him, right? We didn't knock any pieces off. We knocked a couple of pieces off. I don't think anything important. Um, There's a piece over there, maybe? Yeah, I know. There's a Tide Ripper there in front of me. Who would have guessed it? I'm looking for the freaking pieces I knocked away there that go then. What do we got? Anything? Uh, resource container. Charge shelf. That's something I knocked away or something else. Okay, but what's this question mark, though? That's the real question. Like, the burrower didn't seem to notice any of that. So I suppose we should take it out with the burrower. We're coming right up on him here. Hello there, burrower. I just hit you in the eyeball. Or the sound shell. That'll work, too. Thanks. And then the eyeball. Perfect. Thanks. Always need more sound shells. Wow, so there's totally a Tide Ripper in that water. Yeah, I just can't scan for him, but he's totally in there. Alright, these guys are probably just around to put frost damage on the Tide Ripper, right? Yeah, I can't harvest these guys. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Like, if we were able to lead him around a lot, then that would be worthwhile, I suppose. Unfortunately, not a thing I did, but so it goes. Hopefully there's not another Tide Ripper in here. Yep, gather some oil, sure. And yeah, gather that thing too. And it looks like there's a small inlet. Like, so it's like that would work at like high tide. I don't think they actually model tides in this game though, so we're gonna have to just climb up. That'd be pretty high tide though. I don't think high tide goes this high. Okay, we can totally do this. Alright, step away. Let's get rid of this. Okay, we got green shine, which is always good to grab. It's a lot of green shine, too. Yeah, it's a chunk. Okay. So, climb a part out there. Is that all? Just that we had the green shine here and that was it? I mean, don't get me wrong. Green shine is good. I'll take it. Okay, some valuables. Leap, lost your heart. Why? What? Huh? <laughs> Why would that be there? 
in a very old chest too. That makes no sense. Suppose if I had snuck past the Tide Ripper, this would be a great place to attack it from, but I didn't. So there. Okay, so unfortunately, not the cauldron I wanted. Still some good stuff though. And we got another Tide Ripper piece, which is good. I think we need a Tide Ripper. Oh, I didn't scan the Tide Ripper to see what I needed from him, so that was a mistake. Well, that's alright. And there's another one over here if I can taunt it out. And it's actually kind of tempting. I don't know if I'd be able to taunt him, though. Like, he's pretty far. Uh, definitely build up. So we need to build more of this. There we go. 79A should be fine. Now the trick is, can I shoot him from here in such a way that actually taunts him to come to me? Like, I want him to come over to the shallows. So there's no way am I fighting this guy out in this water. Troubles, I don't even know where he is. Like, he'll occasionally breach. I don't even know if he'd chase me. Like, could I even outrun him? Outswim him, really. I don't know. That seems sketchy. Probably not a good idea. Now, there's another Tide Ripper over here. I don't see one, though. And again, we don't want to go in the water to look for one. Okay, well, we know where Tide Rippers are now. So, we can go back here periodically... Get that sorted. Uh, Glint Hawk site, we could do... I guess we could probably go along this path. I don't really want to deal with the Glint Hawk, but I'm hoping for another fire, maybe? Or we just fast travel somewhere else. Okay, if I was going to be another cauldron, where would I be? I think we have to listen to rumors in order to get another cauldron. I don't think we're just going to know one automatically when we see it. Yeah, there's a bunch of markers around, but it's a nice racetrack. And the bat spawned there. Pop shell, pelican feathers, moonfish. Okay, so we know where moonfish are. Go to the tall neck there. An unknown there, but it's unlikely that's a cauldron. Would that be a cauldron? I guess, maybe. Um, see if I can fast travel to this, right? So that's... Yeah, we'll go to this campfire. Actually, go to this campfire. That's a Frost Claw, which is dangerous as all hell. So mark you. Oh, there's a shelter up here, too. Maybe mark here. And we can go over to the shelter. And the question mark. And then go to the other question mark. I think we're going to have to listen to rumors. Okay, we'll just fast travel here, use the pack. It's going to be way off in the frozen north. Probably should go ahead and quick save. In case we run across that frost claw. I don't think we ever found a good way to deal with that frost claw. I'm pretty sure he just kicked our asses multiple times and we just didn't get a chance to fight him again. Well, now here's our chance. I don't know if we're ready for him, though, but we'll see. I mean, the rope casting seems like the best idea, but I have no actual idea what to do with this guy. Oh, there's some fights going on over here. Don't know who's friendly and who's not in this area, but we've got to help out, I think. Those Fanghorns have parts I need to fix their override. Take care of the guy just watching over it there. Like, that seems like a dangerous position to be in. There we go. He just fell over. Definitely gotta take their horns off. Okay. There we go. Good. And we've got... Just standing there. That's what's creepy about it. Like, are they just watching? Because there's more? Oh, yeah, there's definitely a dude here. Let your his one off. There we go. So he's dead. And then they come in. Or no, they're just leaving. No, they're not leaving. Maybe they're leaving? Uh, I think he just tumbled. No yeah, one is climbing that mountain. Not even me. 
There we Must go. Must knock to her right. I would need to fly to find out what happened to Farika. Okay, but see, I, that's what I think I need to do. I think I need to fly. I think I need to suborn a sky drifter or something and just, you know, figure out a way to do it. I don't know if I got the pieces I need for the Fanghorn. I mean, the Fanghorn antler is nice, but I don't know if that's enough. Pick up all the antlers we shot off, though, because why the hell not? Oh, I mean, I suppose, here, pick up the blaze, too. There we go. Grab your stuff. I think they ran off. I think the hunters ran off without him in so much as a buy or leave. Oh, no, okay, he was there. Hey, dude. I suppose I can talk to you? I guess there's still stuff going on. There's still a fight somewhere. I don't know where. Where is the fight happening? Oh, is he trying to finish off the last Fanghorn? That might be what's going on. Yeah, he's shooting at him right now. Dude, your shots suck. Like, I'm a bad shot, but you're worse. Like, how are you a worse shot than I am? It's supposed to be your livelihood. Where'd the Fanghorn even go? There he is. Alright, we just need to... Run him down, basically. Dot. Okay, there we go. We got one horn off of him. Now that he's standing still, he should be an easy target for you guys. There you go. There you go. Okay, so the question mark here might be... I mean, it's not the cauldron, obviously. No, it's definitely the armor set. Unless we fly. An eye in the sky. Must be a Cyclops drone. How to get its data. And there's no way we're doing that without getting up on the cliffside. And there's no way we're doing that without getting a cauldron that lets us suborn flying machines. So we just can't do it yet. Okay, so there's got to be another cauldron somewhere. Alright, mark the shelter. We'll head over that direction. Uh, mostly just to get it on the map and somewhere else we can teleport to. Alright. Thanks for your help, guys. Appreciate it. It's what you're supposed to say to me, but it's okay. It's alright. Well, I took plenty of loot on my side, so, you know, I, I think we're even. Yeah, we're gonna need... Gossip. So we need to go into town. A place to rest. Good. Shelter there. And some machines. And a bridge of some type. Okay, they're fanghorn machines. Oh no, they're also claw guys. Interesting. Uh how is that unknown if we know there's our herbalist? Also a strike. Okay, there's got to be a town up here. Okay, unmark this, because... Oh, I see. I marked off that as a quest. Okay. I mean, that is something we need to do, but I really can't do it yet. Let's see what other side quests we need to do. Uh, signal spike. Oh! Above, the, above, our, above our base. We can totally do that. Um, yeah, that's okay. Let's go back to base, although it's probably better to teleport. So let me use my teleport tree here. Yeah, because that's a waste. Oh, there's a tower and scalding spear. Okay. Which I was not aware of. And there's also a tower at our base. Also a shelter really close to our base, too. Didn't know that. Okay, so go here. That's just our best chance of getting to our base. We can't really travel. Oh no, I can I can travel to our base, I think so. Uh, let's try right traveling there. Yeah, fast travel to base. There you go. So used to be able to only trans fast travel to locations that look the same, but no, that oh, okay, it's the same location anyway. Isn't it? Okay, well, you have new rumors. Let me go ahead and see if you have a rumor of a cauldron, because that'd be great. I see you, champion. Sit, please. Ch 
Choosing the right rations can be just as important to your chance of survival as choosing the right weapons. If you want food that'll save your life out in the wilds, go northwest to Salt Bite. The cook there, Pintala, she'll whip up a meal for anyone who needs it, to Nox or not. I'll make sure to pay her a visit if I'm out that way. Okay, I mean, good to know. Not the errand I wanted, but I get you it. You shouldn't miss this chance to trade. All right, how are we going to get up there? The Sunwing site. I mean, again, if we get suborn a Sunwing, that'd be very easy, but that's a hell of a climb. There's got to be a way up there, though. Well, according to this, there's a road. There's a path. I don't know if I believe it, but according to this, there is. I'm just talking about this path. Or there's something else this on mountain. this mountain. The southern face is my best bet for a climb if I want to get more of Silka's message. Just gotta look for a path. Okay, so there's a southern... Okay, I'm on the right path. The southern approach, apparently. Ooh, um... Okay, going down is not what I want to do, though. I want to go up. Up is where I want to go. What do we got? Okay, there are climbable pieces here. And then we're out. Okay. All right. Now, this is definitely more approachable. Leap over here and then just make your way gradually up. Okay. Halo does what she's talking about. I mean, I guess she is an expert climber at this point, right? She's been climbing for, you know, two games now. She knows what's up. Those Sunhawks definitely know that I'm here. Well, they're looking out for me for sure. Okay, I see a way up. I see a way along, but I don't see a way up. Let's just go the long way then. Right, grab onto that. Pick up the nine, one, midnight bloom, because why the hell not? We'll try to edge our way around. Let's see how this goes. I need to drop down sometimes in order to get over. I don't want to drop down too far. There's got to be a path. I don't see the way up, though. I just see the way to the side. Okay. We're just to this side and down. There's a lot down. I don't see a way up. Uh, go ahead and leap off. Leap off there. There we go. Um, well, that's kind of like a path. Hold on. We're right there. Maybe that's the way we need to go. If I can get over to the left a little bit, can you actually you can make that jump? Now, the real trick is making this jump. Wow, that looks... Since grass isn't growing on it, I'm guessing we can't actually jump in there. So what we've got to do is go higher so we could maybe glide into the grass area. Or something. I don't know. I'm making stuff up. Sure, is there a bloom? Why not? Yeah, we're side... I mean, I wouldn't call this mountain climbing. It's mountain traversal for sure but there's no there's not been much in the way of actual climbing okay leap backwards grab onto that and then keep on traversing but yeah it's not the upward path i want but at some point we're gonna get there maybe just remember the way we made it to the central city was by falling down a lot, which I do not want to repeat. Uh, yeah, go down and then oh, the midnight bloom. Sure, why not? I have fourteen of those now, for better or for worse. And the sunwing site's not too terribly far away. It's just we don't have a way up. Yeah, way down we have. Um. All right. Do something a little crazy here and leap off. No, maybe not a terrible leap though. I think like here is fine. Yeah, I was gonna leap and do like a a glide, but I don't think that would actually help us. 
egg under the midnight bloom, which I guess is good. Maybe this is actually up. Hey, actual mountain climbing. And then we're done. Well, damn. Okay. There's got to be a way up at some point. You would think. Also, hopefully a fire up there so we can save and never do this trap again. Okay. Actual a path, which is kind of surprising. But I'm way, way out. Well, she said to the south. Maybe this is the south route she meant. Right, this is probably the path we want. Assuming, of course, it actually goes up. There's a lot of icy peaks up there that I don't know we'll be able to get to. Hmm. A lot of red grass around here, too, which seems to indicate I'm in a bad place. I feel like I should start over. I feel like I'm not in the right place. There's no yellow here. There is a grapple point there and there, so maybe this is towards the right area. Okay, grapple point there. Which I can do. Okay. Maybe this is right. This is quite a climb. No kidding. Okay. Well, they have breadcrumbs here. Right. Indicate we're on the right path. So that's good. Theoretically climbable that way. And it looks like that might actually be the only way it's climbable. I don't see... Like, we can drop down here. But there's no other way to go there. That's clearly a frozen waterfall. So that would be a bad place to climb. I have to get higher to try and pinpoint Silga's signal. Get over here and maybe actually get up here. Uh, okay, over to the. Over to the. Okay, let me go back up and go to the left. That seems risky as all hell. Okay, but now we should be able to go up and then to your left and up again. Okay, so we just need to circle the entire mountain, but we got there. This mountain is tall. And there are the hawks. And what are these guys weak to? Fire, shock right? Ammo would come in handy. Yeah, okay. And shock ammo, which is doable. Anybody else around here? Is that it? Just the two? If it's just the two, that's not too bad. Definitely tag both of them. So we know whether or not they're onto us. <laughs> they're not looking our way, so that's good. I think we just need to go to the right. Probably get surprised by Glint Hawks, but that's just how it's gonna go. Okay, another breadcrumb. Thank you. And I guess we fight these guys. Looks like I have company. So they're looking in the wrong way, so that's totally helpful. Okay, we have you know, we have fire bombs and we have fire arrows. Let's make some more fire arrows. And fire bombs won't tell me them where I am. I think. Now he's on fire. He'll slowly tick down. Okay. Knock that piece off. Ooh, come on, okay. Come on. That was an explosion, but we were okay. We got it. Okay, now you're gonna come in here. The fireball works seem to work out pretty well. Okay, so now you should be on fire. Yeah, you are. Okay, good. And stunned, but I'm not allowed to last. Come on. Okay, that was a big bada boom, but we did it. Still need to climb higher. Are we not done? I thought we were done. These guys were just gatekeepers, I guess. So what's this thing? Oh, their beak. Okay, not what I meant to aim for, but sure. Uh, yeah, we still have another... We still have somebody was after us. Well. Okay. Um, 
me climb up further then. So, where though? Because none of this is climbable. Definitely grab more medicine, and then I guess heal up. And then grab more medicine. Yeah, but none of this is climbable. So, maybe just follow the red grass around, and maybe it'll lead us somewhere climbable. Because that's not climbable. Yeah, we could leap off of here. Uh, which would kind of sort of work, except for all the ways it doesn't. Where do I need to go? I mean, this is the south side of the mountain. It's just none of that's climbable. There's a grapple point there, which is good to know. I need to be able to get up that high. How are we going to get up that high if none of this is climbable? Um, let's see. I mean, sure, I'll grab this. Maybe this is a breadcrumb I need. Maybe it's supposed to be this way. So this is down. We don't want to go down. If I go down, I have to start all over. Plus, we have to deal with the frost hawks as they respawn here. We haven't actually made it to the sun wings yet. We just made it to the frost hawks. Okay, well... I mean, it seems like towards the wall is the way to go, right? There we go. Okay, that's totally climbable. And then I guess just keep on going up. At least the striations here help. Now, can you actually... Oh, because we need to go backwards. Okay. Gotcha. And then do that again, probably. Once we hit the icicles up here... Oh, Crimson Bloom, sure. Yep. Okay. So just bounce back and forth. Wall jumps, no big deal. Okay. A couple points. Now to pick up the signal. Where is the best spot? Of course, the tallest spot. Where else would it be? Just need to be able to get around to be able to get up there. I should try to find a good spot to pick up Silga's message. There we go. Signal's getting stronger. My focus almost has where it's coming from. Time okay. to pay that Tanakh Tower visit. Yep, we go to the Tanakh Tower. We should be able to pin it down, no problem. Let's go ahead and get the supplies here. Bet I'll get Ooh, a nice view if I glide down from here. So let's grab this first. Grab the Bibles. Thank you. So basically just a reward for being able to do it. Jump this high. Appreciate that. And shine fragment. And then... I want to be able to get a nice... Okay, I'm going to grab the medicine. I was hoping there would be a nice, easy way up again. And then I want to be able to glide from the highest point. Oh. Uh, not quite. Can I not get up to the highest point again? We were up there just recently. Hold up. Go back over. I think there's only one approach there, right? You can only go there one way. Yeah, okay, that was totally it. Okay, so from here, uh, where do we want to go? We want to go... Well, actually, where do we want to go? Towards the question mark? Actually, probably towards that fire. Yeah, let's mark that fire there, so at least it'll theoretically be on my map. And then see if we can make it all the way there. It's only 373. That's not too bad. We could probably do that. Here we go. <laughs> What's nice is there's no endurance to worry about, so like we can just hang on as long as we hang on. As long as the shield doesn't suddenly dissipate, but there hasn't been any real sign of that so far, so I think we're going to be okay. The camera just wants to point up for some reason. It really wants to see the clouds. I'm trying to aim kind of, sort of, towards the, the fire, but I don't know... I mean, our fall rate's pretty fast. I don't know if we're going to land on top of the fire or not. We might. Oh, Firehawk over there. Oh, that's a Sunhawk. That might be a Sunhawk. Alright, we're going to land pretty much right at the fire. Awesome. That totally worked out. Okay, definitely light that fire, because, you know, 
trying to recover from the cold here. And that'll do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. This has been Horizon Forbidden West. I'm Peace Universe, your Peace Universe channel. See you guys next time.